This is a phase 1B2 open label, ascending single and repeat dose clinical trial to evaluate the safety of light activated AU011 for the treatment of small to medium coronal melanoma. Uveal melanoma is a rare disease affecting about 8,000 patients worldwide. We do have clinical risk factors to identify melanoma early. Most of us treat melanoma with methods of radiotherapy, but unfortunately there's about a 25% risk for metastatic disease. Coronal melanoma has a high unmet medical need. AU011 is a light activated viral nanoparticle conjugate that is injected into the vitreous and is attracted to the heparin sulfate proteoglycans that line the cancer cells. Then this is stimulated with near infrared light to activate the medication and cause complete necrosis of the tumor. This was initially studied in rabbits, and it was found that the therapeutic dose was about 50 micrograms, which caused complete necrosis of melanoma in 80% of the rabbits. And here you can see an example of a large melanoma in a rabbit eye that shows mostly necrosis. In this study, our primary input was safety by multimodal imaging. Our secondary endpoint was preliminary efficacy, and we have three and six month follow-up. Inclusion criteria included primary coronal melanoma, small to medium in size, measuring two to 3.4 millimeters in thickness and less than 16 millimeters in base. The melanomas had to have evidence of documented growth or subretinal fluid plus orange pigment, vision loss, or flashes or floaters. So we have enrolled six patients in the first trial. Three of the six had documented growth. All of the patients had risk factors for growth. Half the patients received a super low dose of 20 micrograms, and half the patients received a low dose of 40 micrograms. Our primary endpoint was safety. We found no serious adverse events. We did find a little bit of inflammation in the anterior and the posterior segment that led to increased intraocular pressure in three patients. We wonder if this could be a sign of immune stimulation from this medication. All patients had preserved vision within five letters of the initial vision. Here's an example of primary endpoint with safety at three to six months. This is the patient before treatment. Here we are three months after treatment, the tumor has turned a bit gray, white in color, and you can note the black dots of vitreous inflammation. This was treated with topical corticosteroids and resolved. On the visual acuity analysis at three months, all patients had uh, this, uh, preserved vision within five letters of the original vision, and at six months in the two cases that had six month follow-up, visual acuity was maintained. Our secondary endpoint was preliminary efficacy. We found stable disease in 83% of patients. One patient did show tumor growth and required plaque radiotherapy, but keep in mind, we're using subtherapeutic medication as a judgment for, ethic, for safety. We did see some related findings to the treatment, tumor change in color, loss of orange pigment, loss of melanin, and reduction in macular fluid. Here's an example before treatment and then after treatment one month showing whitening of the tumor and another example of before treatment and after treatment at three months showing whitening of the tumor. So in summary, interim safety and preliminary efficacy results of light activated AU011 for treatment of coronal melanoma. The study met the primary and secondary endpoints at three and six months. There were no serious adverse events mild post-treatment inflammation. The pre-treatment vision was preserved in all patients. We did document biological activity. All patients remained in the study. Five of six tumors remained stable, and we do have ongoing studies with dose escalation. I'd like to thank the participating centers from around the United States for their work in this effort. And I'd also like to acknowledge the scientists John Schiller, the inventor of the HPV vaccine, who modified that technology to adapt it to this new drug, and um, 
Dr. Elizabeth de los Peños, who is the mastermind behind this drug, taking it from bench to bedside. Thank you.